as you get ready to be inspired, informed, and entertained. Get ready. Hello everyone, welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. On today's episode, we'll be talking about things I wish I knew in my early 20s. So stay tuned. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. On today's episode, we have two ladies that will be sharing their views on the topic. Things that they wish they knew in the early 20s. Please introduce yourselves. So my name is Vastika Kariabi from Milton Keynes. Thanks for having me. Thank my you. name is Grace Strebo from Nottingham. Thanks for having me too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. So this is a big one. Mm. Tell me, first of all, let's know what stage you were all at. I'm I'm in my late twenties. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my, in my late twenties as well. Late twenties. Early twenties. Early twenties. Mm. Should we call it mid twenties or like early twenties? Yeah, let's let's call it early twenties. Early twenties. <laughs> good. Good. So, what are the things that you wish you knew? Take um, your own grace. Okay. Mm. What I wish I knew in my early twenties is that friendship disappointment happens. Unfortunately, it happens. Mm. And I will take you a bit into the Bible, right? Mm. The Bible says, curse is the one who actually put his trust or her trust in a man. Mm. So that means that when we refer to friends, when we actually trust friends, then that means there is a curse, atta curse attached on that side. So we, 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 we Christians, we actually acknowledge that this is a good law, but we choose to disobey the fact that there's a curse attached to the fact that we trust people. But the fact that these people came into my life, uh, I don't regret them. Because if you read Ecclesiastic, it says everything happened for a season mm. and for a reason. Mm. So these people actually helped me to grow. Mm. to become maybe the woman that I yeah. am today. Without yeah. these people, probably, I wouldn't have to achieve certain mm. things. And if you read carefully into the Bible, the Bible says that it supports the fact that it is the quality of people that matters, not the quantity. Yeah. Because it, when you read the Bible carefully, it says that many when you have many companions, it may lead you to ruin. Yes. But there is a friend that can actually stick closer than a brother. Mm. So if it, yes. even if you have one friend, mm. right, who is mm. loyal, faithful, he supports you or she supports you in your darkest moments. Mm. She's genuine. She's real. Mm. It's enough. It's enough. Yeah. But we young people, we don't understand that. We mm. allow the quantity yeah. of people to enter um, into our comfort zone, mm. to penetrate in us. And then they, 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 they tarnish our image. Mm. They don't support us. Mm. You know, they, 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 they say a lot of things about us. Mm. Behind know. our backs most yeah. of the time. Exactly. Yeah. But I think that at times God actually brings certain challenges mm. to us, such as this, mm. to let us grow spiritually. Mm. So I think what we need to understand mm. as young people is that it's the quality of people that matters. Mm. Even if you have one friend. Mm. I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't regret the fact of saying that my mom, for instance, is my best friend. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't regret that. Same. Mm. Yeah. Instead of saying that I have a lot of people who mm. are not real, mm. they, yeah. will la they will tease me and they will do other things that mm. I don't like, who mm. will not support me. I would say that my mom is my best friend mm. because she is the one that I've been able to communicate for the past year. She mm. has been consistent, mm. you know, whereas other people, they come and go, go. They come yeah. and go. You know, we, we yeah. don't need the quantity mm. of people. Mm. We don't need that. You need people that will support your achievement. You yes. need people that will be your prayer partners. Mm. You need people that spiritually will help mm. you to grow. Mm. You need people that will help you to uh, enwiden your vision that you mm. have. Wow. I think it's really important. I don't regret the fact saying that I have one friend, which mm. is my mom. Mm. Mm. People like this, or, or like us in mm. our younger generation, they will say, oh, uh, because I have many people, they are my friends. But ask yourself mm. one question. Mm. If you go into, it, maybe you don't have money and you ask one of your friends to help you out, maybe one, or, or one of or the list, just look at your contacts list, mm. right? Mm. How many people will come out and say, Grace, I'll give you 200 pounds because mm. you, are, you, are, you have gone into a hunchroom, that's what Ghanaian will say, maybe mm. you, are, you don't have money. Yeah. How many people will be real? But your parents will be always there. Yeah. Can your parents be <laughs> your friends? Right? At times, this difficult. is it. <laughs> it's difficult, but yeah. you need to understand that your parents, your mom, your dad have been cons has been have been consistent for all these years. Yeah. Mm. They have never let you down. Mm. Some parents, mm. my parents, they have never let me down. Mm. They have always supported my vision. Mm. I have I wanted to be a lawyer. I'm an aspiring solicitor. Mm. I have people who are my friends that will be saying, "Why you want to be a solicitor? You a woman like you want to be a solicitor?" Wow. You know, they will bring you down. Mm. But my parents, they have never judged what I'm, I'm mm. my passion. 
Mm. They have always supported me. Mm. I don't regret the fact saying, oh, it's not a disgrace for me saying mm. my mom is my best friend. People no, will no, say, no, no, no. Yes. People yes. will she, say, you know. Uh, mine is mine, uh, mine is mine as well. Yes, <laughs> same, same people here. People say you are not friendly. Mm. But times when you are too friendly, mm. people get into you mm. and they disrespect you. Mm. You know, so mm. I think at times it's the quality of people that we yeah. need to, you know, mm. address. Yeah. And also, I think one of the second thing that I wanted to talk about is that not everyone is going to like you. What mm. I wish in my early 20s, I knew. Because yeah. th there might be stages in which maybe mm. I might be beautiful more than you. Let's mm. say that. Mm. I might have had certain achievements, mm. right? I have certain skills, qualifications mm. that you do not have. Mm. But these people, they do not support me. They are jealous. They are, they are yeah, envious. Yeah. So what do they do? They will go at my back and say, mm. oh, Grace, don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah. But what you need to understand that is that yeah. you, live, you live to please yourself mm. and God. You need to make yeah. yourself happy. Mm. So far as what you are doing, the passion, the vision that you have, comply with mm. God's law. It mm. does not contradict yeah. with God's law. Go on. Oh, wow. Be motivated. Be, be inspiring. Mentor someone. Yeah. Don't allow people to get into you just like that. Because mm. if you do, then they will get into you. Mm. And what, wow. the vision that you have, it will just destroy. Mm. Because you allowed. that. I know, it's difficult. I'm a human being. I, I am the person that actually cries every day. I cry more than, <laughs> oh. you know. I cry more than the more you think. Because people think that I have a strong character. But I, that, so I don't cry. Mm. But it, it's not like that. I cry a lot because I'm really sensitive. Mm. You know, as I said... Because I'm a sparring solicitor, there are many challenges, especially in our African culture. Ghanaian people will say, oh, once you die, you, your, your, your body will <laughs> turn. I don't know how to say it. They will live because you're a solicitor. Yeah. You know, but I didn't let that got into me. In the mm. beginning, it was like, oh, my God, maybe I should change my education background. Maybe I should do maybe mm. catering or something, you know, mm. more women, women mm. things. Mm. But yeah. I was like, that's not my passion. Mm. If I go into it, mm. later on, I will regret. Mm. And then these yeah. people, they will be... Saying, why did you go into it? <laughs> you know, they, they will be saying other things. So yeah. be motivated, be focused as a woman. As, that's what I would say to the public, all the young ladies in there. Not everyone is going to like you. Don't live to please anyone. Live yeah. to please yourself and God. And that's wow. it. Amen. <laughs> wow. Amen. Amen. Well Amen. Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> wow. That's deep. Sis, work yourself. Right. So with me, I, I was quite lucky that at certain age, I stopped friending, having a lot of friends. Mm. So at your the, circle became smaller. Yeah. At the age of 20, <laughs> I stopped befriending mm. a lot of people. Mm. Maybe because we were moving from Italy as well, it also helped me. Mm. I stopped. But one thing that I've realized that before, I thought having a lot of friends made you popular. Mm. You yeah. know, I, I, yeah. I thought everybody was like me. Mm. I've been betrayed a lot. Mm. I opened my heart for a big heart. And you might find friends that would tread on that weakness. Weakness, yeah. For me, my heart, I had such a big heart that I thought mm. everybody's my friend or everybody's mm. like yeah. me. I was just like you, <laughs> the same. You know, so wow. sometimes the more I grew up, I've learned to be tough. Yeah. Mm. I've tightened my circle, Definitely. my sister. Yeah. It's probably, <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, <laughs> Feel free. Yeah. We're keeping it real here. <laughs> tighter than the than okay. the one did they say it tighter than the duck's ass. <laughs> <laughs> circle very tight yeah. oh, wow. my mom is my confident mm. I tell my mom everything mm. yeah you know not everything I cannot tell her everything yeah. but I confide in yeah. her yeah. you know that's a friend that will not disappoint mm. I know even some people have got a problem with your parent but yeah. I know mine yeah. will not yes. let me down yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've cancelled people and one thing that I'll say again is when I when I was younger I thought I had time mm. Mm. if you have something to do do it now Mm. If you are in that age, you yeah. know, if you've started working, if you mm. have inspirations to, you know, you, you know how to do hair, mm. do it, mm. do it. Start playing with your mom's yeah. hair, start playing with your little sister's mm. hair, mm. do something. Mm. If you can sing, start something mm. with it. Yeah. Don't wait till you get to certain age because mm. you'll keep procrastinating. Yeah. It will never happen. Mm. Okay. And another thing that I would say is you're a nice girl, you start uni, you meet somebody and you think you, you work. Don't think you've got time because with me, in my 20s, I could have gotten married, mm. but I thought I had plenty of time. Mm. I thought I'm too young. Because sometimes when you think that you might get to a time that all the people that you thought you were too young mm. for, they might all be gone and married with other people. Mm. Fine, yeah, fair enough. So, mm. you know, at the age of, when you get to that age, open yourself up, mm. learn something. Mm. If you want to buy a house, 
start saving mm. it don't wait till like you're 25 don't wait till you you, you are with somebody because mm. in this country mm. two is better than one because yeah. two cashes comes from mm. it makes a lot of money yeah. mm. don't wait mm. if you mm. can't do it do it yourself mm. learn something mm. now, one thing i'm learning about this new society that everybody wants to be better mm. this now yes Everybody's yes. trying to do something with their lives. Mm. When I go into Instagram, which I try to filter some things, but mm. I see young girls, young boys buying houses, yes. starting mm. a new business. Mm. That is what we thought I knew. Mm. I could have done something with me. I know my passion is about motivation, mm. motivational speaker. Mm. My, my voice will let you sleep. Mm. That's who I am. That's my, yep. my call. Everybody's different. If you mm -hmm. can cook, do something with it. Yep. Don't sit down until you're 30 or when you're married or have mm. kids. And one thing is that in this country, because two is better than one, you know, you might even have a boyfriend that would think moving with me because he thinks two is better than one. Mm. Learn yourself. Mm. And one thing is when you are in your 20s, learn to be a, a house, a woman at home. Mm. Every man will want to pick a girl from his family's his father's house. Mm. Don't think you have started uni. I can, but yeah, the man will do it, but when he's ready to settle, he wants a woman that both parents is living with mom and dad because yeah. he knows that there are certain things you cannot do there. Yeah. So please, these are things that you need to learn. Mm. I personally, God, I'm still at home. I'll stay at home till Mr. Wright picks me up. Mm. And I'm not, you know, I can afford a house, but I think where I come from, I have to be taken from home. Mm. So my advice is these are things that I know mm. I'm over, over tw like late 20s, but yeah. there are things that there are people that want to come up because I've started uni, I've got the money, mm. wait. Yeah. Mm. And choose your friends wisely. Yeah, definitely. Know that not everybody is like you. Mm. Don't open your heart too yes. much. Mm. People can tread on your own dreams. Yeah. Don't talk too much. Yeah. Yeah. Know who you talk to. I've learned a lot. Mm. Because the people, you know, the more you, you bring out your secret, it, it, it dooms. Mm. Wait yeah. till the thing has come to yeah. reality. Wow. I don't tell my bullshit. I don't tell my things to a, a lot of people. Yeah. I've, I've learned. Oh, wow. Learn who you talk to. Yeah. Mm. And even those friends you talk to, who has got a clean heart. Mm. Exactly. Some people may even be... Baby, your friend, but the spirit doesn't that accept touched. good things. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. tell them yeah. something good and next yeah, day yeah. it's bad news. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I okay. think this is something related to... Be careful. To, mm, with what my sister is saying, like, do not disclose your vision. But the society that we come from, the Ghanaian culture, mm. it's full of jealousy. Mm. It's full of envy. Mm. Uh, you know, it's full of, I will tarnish your image, this year. Mm. So that's why you need to be... <laughs> pulling, <laughs> pulling down yeah, syndrome. Yeah. yeah. That's why you need to be a person that you shouldn't disclose your vision, yeah. right? You are an aspiring solicitor like me, but you don't know how I will get there. I will not even tell you because I know that if I tell you, you be, I will be my, you, oh. I will be uh, your prayer topic. Mm. <laughs> you go to church, <laughs> okay, so, okay, so. Yeah, no, you know some people do that yes. because wow. they are jealous of you yes. and they want to get there. Keep your good news to yourself. Exactly. When, who will have to know will know. Mm. Exactly. Wow. I mean, when it's successful, disclose it. Yeah. But who once you're starting, let, let it be, you know, to in there you. is nothing that wow. if it has to come out, if you're getting married, you cannot do it private. Maybe yeah. if you want to go to court, you take pictures. Mm, yes. So, <laughs> yes. Yes. That's who, it. Yes. So what, yeah. who has to know will know. Mm. One mm. thing I, I, I thought I had friends. Mm. I thought they were my friends. I would mm. tell them everything. Mm. Mm. Everything. No. no. Mm. Choose your mom. If she, you know, not every mom is yes. understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But you know who you talk to. And even sisters. Mm. I know the sister. Mm confide with someone mm. or even confide to God. Yeah. He will not tell yeah. you. Yeah. Sometimes if I don't have anybody to talk, I go to my phone and yeah. record myself because mm. I don't want to go and talk to anybody. Yeah. Mm. It's on my phone. Yeah. I've learned friends that didn't help me. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Choose your friends wisely mm -hmm. in your 20s. Wow. Yeah. Grow with the wise in your 20s. That's what you know, say. it's interesting how you say that because one thing I found is how many young people mm. have older people as their mentor their mentors, mm. yeah. or older people as someone that will keep them in check mm. we tend not to like discipline mm. a lot and mm. i I'm, i was one of them <laughs> mm. you know i do things the way i felt it will suit it me right, yeah mm. okay mm. but at a certain point i said to myself no if i want to grow mm. the people who have lived longer on this mm. earth than me have certain wisdom that cannot be compared to the one mm. that you have. No. No. And they have gone through a lot mm. that cannot be compared. No. And sometimes it's just putting down your guard a little bit mm. yeah. and then getting that mentor that you need yes. in your life. Because yeah. I, I think sometimes when we say mentor, it's as if 
it is it has to be someone high up yeah, there no, no, no. like <laughs> you know it could just be your mom yeah, your, yeah. your dad yes, yeah. as simple as that yeah. you know take them as your mentor mm. not for i'm not saying for everyone mm. right but there are some people out there it could be some church leaders it could be people at your workplace mm. that you can take as your mentor there's so many people people mm. that you inspire mm. to mm. to look to be like them yeah People who are mm. high achievers mm. can be your and no, no, your sometimes inspiration. It's, it's just you. You mm. can sit yourself down and say, I don't want to disappoint myself. Mm. Yes. I said to myself, I will not disappoint myself. Yes. Whether I had a mentor or didn't, I, I knew my calling mm. in this world. Mm. So far as you know who you are, you know, when I, I knew I had a call, mm. I was mm. very careful mm. with my friend picking because I knew that I, I, I'm different. Mm. I've got five siblings and I'm oh. different. Wow. So I knew I'm different. Yeah. Mm. You need to know your call and mm. say, I will not disappoint myself. Yeah. What mm. can me? Mm. And know where you strive to. Mm. And I feel like, sorry, um, yeah, that uh, at times when you have um, older people that are actually your friends, they understand better the issues that you go into. True. Yeah. Yeah. They think ahead. Yeah. So when they advise you at times, mm. we might not take it you'll yeah. be like nah mm. what you say yeah. Yeah. but they think ahead but yeah. once you have a friend you know who is my age she she doesn't understand what you're going through because yeah. she's going through the same page yeah. so yeah. you know i think i don't regret the fact of saying that many many of my friends are older, older people. people yeah some i have a mom she's not even my mom but she's like 40 45 mm. but i disclose with her everything that i go with. yeah mm. you know i feel like it, 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 it's not bad seeing mm. or having people like that mm. yeah rather than having fake people hypo no. hypocrite people that will not help your life you know that think that know. everything is a competition sure. yeah. like can we end this thing called competition because <laughs> i'm i'm actually getting fed up of yeah, it it's and it's it's crazy because it makes me sometimes feel like mm. perhaps it's best not to have anyone called friend, friend. yeah <laughs> It, it, it's just like you know that. What? You don't have to have a friend that's in the same level as you. That's where the competition comes. Mm. If you if 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 you have what you have and you have a friend like Kennedy Japan, you don't he will not jealous you mm. because he knows he has more yeah. than you. Yeah. But when you're on the same level, it's like mm. competition. All my friends are married, they are doing well. Mm. I don't want friends that are struggling like getting married because you know there's some people I can't even tell them my goodness because I know that it will bother them. Yeah. 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 You'll be a Co you know, topic. <laughs> go with people that are doing better than yeah. you. They don't have no, are, yeah. but tell me, there are people that dream better than you, but they will still jealous you. When yeah. you yes. That's so, what I yes. But those yeah. people, I think they've got something under their eyes. Yeah. Definitely. This is no witchcraft. It's don't something know what else. It <laughs> so, wow. you know, if we get on, we'll go on and on. But yeah. choose yeah. your friends wisely yeah, in your 20s. Definitely. Who know you talk to. Yeah. Don't be too big hearted because mm. I, I, I was, and it didn't help me, but I've, I learned it earlier. Mm. I've been more, more tough. Mm. I'm very selective. You yeah. might call me arrogant, but I prefer that mm. because I've chosen my circle. But that's good. Though. You know what? <laughs> I also think that sometimes we bother too much of what people, people think, think about us. About yeah. us. Yeah. I think we need to stop that. Mm. Honestly, those who are viewing, share your views on this, mm. please. Maybe we've not mentioned everything during this episode, but feel free to drop your mm. uh, views on this because we need to stop yeah. this. Mm. Like, oh, I'm not qualified enough to mm. do this mm -hmm. or I'm not beautiful enough, enough to do this to start this you know it's it's crazy mm. how we we ourselves sometimes are our own enemies, enemies. Yes. you know and it doesn't help mm. the other thing I wanted to say is investing mm. had I known mm. I wouldn't have spent unnecessary money on buying Unnecessary clothes things. and Unnecessary and <laughs> name it there are certain things i found okay. myself doing when mm. i was in my early 20s and i was like wow mm. the funny thing is i was surrounded by friends that knew the meaning of saving one particular friend of mine she would always remind me mm. nana how are you saving are you mm. keeping your mm. money and all of that and she would even you know give me certain information that mm. I felt like, wow, this girl, she knows everything about accounting and everything. Mm. And it amazed me. Mm. And, and I always used to tell her, wow, had I known this a bit earlier, mm. I would have had or gotten myself into a habit of um, valuing money, money as very important. Mm. Because when you want to do something, it's all down. It seems like it ends up to be money. money. True. And also there's no harm in, mm. in, in wanting to, 
have money. Mm. Mm. I think sometimes we make it look like, you know, biblically, yeah, yeah, you say yeah. things like, it's not, it's not all, <laughs> the love people, of money is the root yeah, of all that, evil yeah. and all of that. That's a broke man's have proverbs. It, thank you. <laughs> and it will lead to poverty. <laughs> it will lead to poverty. Like, seriously. It's not a broke man. It's a broke man. I mean, money. let's not mix the two up. <laughs> yeah. If you have money, you're comfortable. Yes. Mm. And you can live the life you want to live. Yeah, exactly. And there's nothing to sh be ashamed that's about. Mm, mm, mm. If you have the money, thanks be to God. Mm, yes. And that's it. Mm, you thank you. Know, we will round it up here. Thank you. And I just want to thank you for sharing oh, your thank news. Thank it's you been amazing. Thank, <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you for having me. You us. guys who are, who are watching, thank you for watching. It's been an amazing episode with these ladies. Share your views. Um, comment below. Uh, subscribe like and share oh, wow. and let's grow this community thank you so <laughs> much and stay blessed